Do you know that feeling when you are so proud to film a video and it turned out really good and you're really excited and then you go and fucking delete it? Because I know that feeling. Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel Only Reads where I talk about books and things. And today I am yet again filming a video that I had already filmed but that sadly got deleted. And by when I, when I say it got deleted, it means I fucking deleted it because I don't know how to work computers but anyway it doesn't matter I can still redo the video and I really want to do this video for you guys so here it is this is a return to the old 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 days this is a video that I filmed back in let me check I filmed this video August well I uploaded it August 3rd 2013 so we're coming up on well actually it's been seven years seven years since I filmed it and at the time I don't think many people watched it and many people didn't do it this is actually a tag video an original tag video that I made which I am actually now going to make my friends do like it's it's going to be a thing like I'm going to force you to do it because I want you to pity me and pity Monica from this time that she never got her shining moment of having an original book tag now the book tag is called my first time book tag and it was at this time there was a tag going on in the in the in the beauty community where it was kind of like alluding to your you know when you lost it that sounds so stupid coming from a 33 year old but anyway it was like what it was about it was supposed to be like this fun thing of oh when did you lose it and it's all about your bookish first times so i'm gonna like how many questions does it have did i either I didn't even put the questions, so I don't even remember how many questions it has, but I'm going to scoot over. We're going to bring you in closer. I'm going to scoot over, over here, and I'm going to play the video for you down here so that we can see tiny baby Monica seven years ago um, tell you about her first bookish times. And let's see if any of my answers have changed. I don't think so, but maybe. So let's roll it. I'm going to play it for you and I'm going to like stop it and give you my reactions to it. And then I'm going to tag you and you have to do it because if not, I'll be sad. And you don't want me to be sad, right? I don't think so. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> that didn't work out good. What up, Rudy? You're watching Mini Reads and today I bring you a book tag. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love that my, my energy is still the same. Uh, Oh my god, I got the braces. Title, which is so misleading, so misleading. I decided to bring it to book. Oh, I miss my long hair. Why did I cut my hair? Book related stuff. Because that's what we do here, booktube. We do book related stuff. And I know there's another tag that is kind of like it. Okay. Which is my first and last tag. I'm going to pose it. I love that my energy basically hasn't changed one bit. I am still this person. Like, I am still this awkward, kind of funny. I like to think I'm funny. Please, please just let me think I'm funny. Like I'm this awkward, funny person. Also, can we talk about my eyebrows? Girl, I'm so glad my eyebrows came back. Like, <laughs> okay, let's continue. It's just your first. Yeah. And we're, we're going to discuss our first, mm -hmm. but not that kind of first, because I don't know how comfortable I'd be discussing that on YouTube. So basically what I created is 12 questions related to your first of It's book 12 things. questions. After I created this, I realized that a lot of the books are going to repeat themselves. So sorry about that. And I just heard my door, door and that was creepy. But let's just get into the tag, yeah? I love that it's still like it. Again, it's still so me that I am one minute into this tag and I haven't even talked about the first question because I still do that thing where I'm just like talking and talking and talking and talking and not getting to the point. Little baby Monica, I appreciate you. <laughs> first question is, what is the first book you remember reading on your own? Okay, so what this is the first book you remember reading on your the own? original book and it's Animorphs by K.A. Applegate and this is number one. And I've had this book since I was, I believe, nine years old. This is the first book I remember reading all on my own. 
I've actually answered this question before in another tag and that is still the correct answer. That is the book that I remember reading on my own and it's also the question, like the, the book that got me into reading sci-fi. So, so far so good, baby Monica, you're doing great. And question number two is the first series you remember finishing and for that I picked Animorphs yep. by K.A. Applegate. Still and true. you see this book again, I promise you. This series, it has like... 200 books in it and I have them all still all of them in fact I have some of them twice I don't know why question number three is which is the first book to movie adaptation you remember watching knowing it was a book to movie adaptation you know why I put in the first book to movie adaptation you remember watching knowing it was a book to movie adaptation because I watched the Aragon movie before I read the books and I didn't know that it was a book to movie adaptation. So I remember specifically being like, it's going to be Aragon, but I don't want to talk about that movie because it's so bad. And I hadn't, um, I think at this point, I don't remember if I had or had not. I can see in the background that I do have the Aragon books, my original Aragon books. I have them there, but I don't know if I had read them by that point. So I decided to add in the the little like the one that you remember. And I know most people are going to answer the Lord of the Rings for this one, but that wasn't mine. So let's see what I answered. At first, I was going to pick the Lord of the Rings. Before that, I watched a movie of The Little Prince. That's I remember right. that it scared the bejeebus out of me. The bejeebus. Time. I was very scared. Of I still say the bejeebus. Number four is what was your first book crush? My first book crush was Tobias yes. from the Animorphs series. I had such fun memories of Tobias and I, even though he's not real. Question number five. I love how concise I am in these videos because I would have gone on and on like about Tobias and how I liked him and why I liked him now. Uh, but in this, that was just precise and concise. And honestly, it was just the bad boy thing. It was the, the broody, moody, bad boy. Like, I totally get, you know, if I had been of the age when everybody was reading Twilight, like, if I had been at an age where I, Twilight would have called to me, I would have totally been into Edward Cullen. So, like, I was into the broody, moody, bad boys. This, who was your first bookish friend? My first bookish friend would have to be my friend Lucia. I've mentioned her before. She's the one that let me borrow Ender's game. And we met online role playing. Oh my god! Yes, we did! And then we met we we met at school. Here's the story. Lucia and I were not we 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 like knew of each other because we went to like a really small school compared to what most people go to and like like the schools like people go to. And um, I'm sorry, I keep looking at my sweater because I look like a bumblebee. <laughs> but anyway, but I didn't know her in person until one of our mutual friends, who is no longer a mutual friend, um, introduced us to role playing online. Not like, it, like tabletop role playing, but doing it through writing. And um, Lucy, if you're watching this, I still love you and you're still my first bookish friend. <laughs> I think she does watch my videos from time to time. I don't know. But um, if you are, still love you, girl. Stay warm. I know you're in Canada where it's really, really cold. We're still pretty good friends and I love her. Uh, still yeah, love her. bookish friend and I still borrow books from her. Yay. Question number six is what is the first adult book you remember reading not for school? Okay. For the state of this book, I assure you, I bought. Oh, it I know what this is. In the same state that it's in, and also it's been traveling back and forth between countries a lot. This book is the first book. Adult oh, I missed that Boy, book. Born free by Joy Adamson. Okay, I'm gonna pause it because I do have that book. Let me see if I can get it from here. Hang on. So here it is. Obviously, as you can see, the covers are different. I actually had to rebuy this book because that book completely fell apart. And yet I miss holding that tattered, beaten oh, book. I love that. Like my heart is racing just looking at this clip. Of course, I'm looking over here because my computer's down here. You're looking here because the clip is here. But oh, I miss that book. I miss holding its tattered, hurt um, covers. It just it brings back really good memories. I thought I was actually going to say Dracula. 
And and I actually did this recently, so I don't know why I thought I was going to say Dracula. And I love this book. I still read love it, it probably when I was like seven or eight. And I probably ended up reading it because it has pictures. Who doesn't want to read that? I'm, just, I'm looking into the viewfinder. I, I don't know like what I'm 10. doing. I guess I was 10 when I read it. But question number seven is, who was your first book character role model? And my first role model was <laughs> Rachel from the Animorphs series. I just loved her. She was so cool. She was fashionable. She was fashionable. a badass. She, she was a badass. She was overall perfect. I think Rachel is the epitome of she is the anti not like other girls she loves makeup she is really fancy really cool and yet she is a kick ass like i love her because she just embodies everything i feel like female role models should embody in in um middle grade or ya fiction which is like you can still like makeup you can still look like a runway model or not like a runway model but you can you know you can still like the stereotypical girly things and yet still kick alien asses, you know? Like, I appreciate that about Rachel, so, yeah. She was also, like, really brave and she was Tobias's girlfriend, so... And she was Tobias's yeah, girlfriend! Rachel for a really, really, really long, long time. And if you've read Animorphs, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Rachel was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Question number eight is... What's the first author that you were truly inspired by? I like this question. And the first author I was inspired oh. by would have to be Joy Adamson from Born Free. She basically raised a lion cub and then let her go to the wild like she was supposed to. And she was the person that first inspired me to become an animal rights activist. And I'm actually planning on getting another one of these because I'm not putting You did it, girl. Myself. You did I it. Know, I know, cringeworthy, but I, I actually got this like this. Question number nine. What was the first book you remember truly touching you? I couldn't pick none other than Daniel's story. I still have, and I still have that exact copy a Jewish somewhere. A boy who gets put in a concentration camp. And... I, I, this book truly touched me, and if Born Free w is the reason of why I'm a, I am an animal lover, Daniel's story Still. is the reason why I'm a, I am a pacifist and a humanist. So, uh -huh. yeah, this book, I recommend it. If you haven't read it, it doesn't matter. It's a I think book. I... I think everyone... Yeah, this would, would be the first one I was really young, but I don't think the answer would be the same now. From the U.S. to Venezuela and back at least three times or four times. Well, now the first classic book you read, not for school. That would definitely have to be the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, uh, I thought it was going to be Dracula. I picked it up. But that is I true. I heard of this guy, and then I saw that it was short stories, and I was like, yeah. And that tells you a lot about the kind of child that I was, that I was reading Edgar Allan Poe at this age, and about death and stuff. I was pretty intense. Just so we're clear, I was like a super gothic chick and, you know, I loved Eric and Allan Poe. Also, I want to point out that I am really nasally in this video and it's because this was before... Okay, listen, I'm not telling you you have to go vegan, but this was before I went vegan and I didn't know that I had an, an allergy to uh, lactose and milk products in general. So I never was able to breathe through my nose ever in my life. And it wasn't until I went vegan that I actually started breathing through my nose. And that's why I don't sound as nasally as I do. In fact, I remember having to cut off all of the <laughs> that I had to do. And it was such hard work. <laughs> kid growing up. And this one will be kind of, I guess, easy for a lot of you, but not for me. First YA book you remember truly finishing. I know the answer to this. That is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which I read last year, this year. No, I read it this year. And I know that this is pretty, but um, I'm letting one of my good friends borrow Ugly, so I thought... Who would I let that I borrow that stupid-ass book? That book was so bad. bad. <laughs> and I couldn't finish that. There was no way in this screen earth that I could finish Twilight. I got... I think I had 50 pages left in the first book and I was like done with it but this one is the first I listened to like finish, like a like a like a little bit the first YA series I finished so uh, double whammy for you finally the last question question number 12 is the first ebook you've read the first you e -book. oh my god I've read so many ebooks now today I finished the first ebook I read and I have it here on my phone and 
that's Nelson Mandela saying hello to you. Of course, yes. I had Nelson Mandela as my um, back, back, background on my phone. But can we talk about the phone that I had? That phone still exists and my uncle uses it. So funny. Oh my God. I'm going to look for it for you so you can see which one it is. In Time by Alexandra Bracken. I gotta say, my editing was better before this. <laughs> or I was, I think at this point I was more used to filming. So I think I like knew what to do where as right now I'm I have no idea what I'm fucking doing um I also I guess I I, I don't know I don't know I I'm I'm kind of surprised at how good this video is I I didn't expect it I thought it was gonna be worse than the videos I film now and it turns out that it's actually better <laughs> this is the first ebook that I've ever finished I love the Darkest Minds covers so far. I'm not so sure about Never Fade, but I really love The Darkest Minds and... Oh, sweetie, cover. you never finished those books. Wouldn't it be nice to have that? So that's it, guys. This is my first book tag. Well, I still I speak with that, my hands. My first time. All right, so that's it. That's the end of the of the tag. And basically, uh, this is where I tag people. Um, you gotta do it because little Monica is gonna be sad if you don't do it. So I'm gonna tag. Of course, I'm going to tag Sarah from Voyages Through Worlds. I'm going to tag Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. I'm going to tag Angela from the Literary Science Alliance. I'm going to tag Ramsey from Rajathon. I'm going to tag Therese from Bookish Therese. Um, who else? Who else? I'm going to try. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot your name, but Wondrous. Wondrous? Wondrous? You know, you know you, girl. I got you. I'm going to tag you and I'm going to tag Rachel also from the Shades of Orange. I'm going to tag uh, Working Man Reading. I'm going to tag Scott. I'm going to tag all of you anyway on Instagram just so that you know that you're tagged in case you didn't watch this video. But yeah, you're tagged. You have to do it. Don't make little Monica sad. And well, <laughs> without any further ado, I bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for coming down memory lane with me. I honestly was scared to do this. I was scared that, um, I'm going to be honest with you, during this time, I was going still through a lot of my eating disorder problems. And I was scared that watching this was going to make me like, oh my God, I was so thin or whatever. But honestly, I wasn't focused on that. I was more focused on the books and what I was saying. So I think that that's really cool. And also how long my hair was. And I loved that dip dye job that I had. Oh my God, I really loved that hair. Uh, we'll get there again, baby. We'll get there. <laughs> it's actually grown a lot, honestly. It looks like I have a bob. It doesn't, it's not necessarily a bob, but anyway. Anyway. <laughs> tangents. Without any further ado, I bid you adieu with a reminder that I post every one Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with some videos peppered out throughout the week if I have the chance and that I'll see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.